Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Look, I'm sitting outside uh, waiting on a young boy to come out of the barber shop. And um, I've just been listening to some radio and I've watched a number of posts uh, flow down my timeline on a number of different platforms. Uh, not my timeline, my news feed on a number of different platforms. And um, I started thinking and I'm looking at something. Uh, and like I said, I don't jump on no sensational, shallow stuff until I see uh, a teaching opportunity, until I see uh, something that can be addressed that has some benefit uh, to my subscribers, uh, to the people who come to glean and to share and to contribute. And so I don't like insulting uh, the people who subscribe to my channel with you know, shallow BS uh, that's just about the sensationalism. Now, sometimes I jump on some stuff that's hot, again, because I see a teaching opportunity. Well, uh, the thing that's kind of going now is Trick Daddy, and you know how I feel about him. I've been on Dude for several years uh, and how he handles black women uh, specifically. Um, and primarily, I think that's been, you know, when he comes out and says some dumb stuff about black women, especially when he compares black women to white women. Uh, I address that, but I don't get off into all of that other stuff uh, just for the sake of celebrity gossip type stuff. But um, recently, uh, and I saw when it first happened again, I avoided it, stayed away from it. Uh, he decided to share his opinion that Jay-Z isn't uh, the GOAT. Uh, and that's always been debatable. Uh, but, you know, that Jay-Z is not the truth, or however you want to put it, and that Beyonce can't sing. Don't know where it came from. Don't know the context. Uh, not really my concern. He stated an opinion. That's all it was, was his opinion problem is there's this thing called the beehive and the beehive is a cult-like following of Beyonce they take Beyonce very seriously their love for Beyonce is extreme and I'm being modest and so when you go after Beyonce be prepared to deal with the beehive. Now, I don't know why Trick Daddy decided it was a good idea to take a shot at B. Uh, being a Houstonian and knowing the story behind her and her family and actually uh, having my brother having worked with them when they were really younger and personally knowing her younger sister, I have nothing against her. I think the work and ethic that she puts into her craft makes her special. Uh, and everybody has a place in a lane and they do their thing. Anybody that really truly takes the time to do the best they can to master their craft and to solidify their lane in a place I have respect for. Um, is she my favorite singer of all time? No, but I have nothing negative to say about her. I think she's done a great job. I think she does a lot of things outside of what she does in business. Is she my hero in the form of activism? No, I don't expect her to be. I don't look to celebrities to do the work that we should be doing in the community ourselves. So I don't have a lot of disappointment when it comes to certain people because I'm not expecting them to do something they're not built to do or they're not able to do or they don't want to do or whatever it is. We're solely talking about this. And see, uh, the question came up because this is what happened. Getting blasted on social media and Twitter all about what you say about somebody that other people hold in high regard is one thing. You know, you're going to get drugged when you talk about certain people. It just is. You're going to get drugged. You know, I know I am always going to catch heat on social media when I start talking about LGBTQ issues and my stance on it because I'm unapologetically where I'm standing and where I'm at. 
and it's in, it's in writing, it's in black and white, it's in video. Have absolutely no hatred for no one. I love all of my brothers and sisters. I look at behavior and what it produces for the collective and I've given my opinion on that. And when I do, I get blasted, ripped, and here they come. Uh, recently, I gave my opinion about Candace Owens and people misread it, misinterpreted it and everything else got upset. I give my opinion about Kevin Samuel, Stephen A. Smith, and all down the line. But it's always under the context of how they fit into this whole narrative of black empowerment, because that's where I'm at. But in this instance, when I'm looking at it, what 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 I had to really examine myself to kind of come up with, you know, what I thought about it was they decided because Trick Daddy owns a restaurant, I believe in, in Miami. Uh, and for what I understand, outside of it being owned by him, he employs black, pro, uh, uh, his employees are predominantly black and a bunch of other things. So, um, you know, whatever. And I, from what I heard, it had a pretty good rating. Well, the Beehive went to Yelp and a couple of other rating sites and start giving negative ratings to drive his rating down. And so it drove his rating down. Now they're a process to go through to uh, appeal that and show, okay, these people never ate here. They are simply doing something as a personal attack. And he'll eventually hopefully get that straightened out. He should have people employed who will handle that for him. That's not the question. The question here is, was that acceptable? As a person, I'm not really feeling dude, that's me. As a person, I'm not feeling, dude. Uh, I don't like his position and stance as it pertains specifically to black women. That puts him on my radar. And it's hard for me to have conversation with men who spend too much time attacking women instead of becoming the best that they can be to do the best that they can. And then determining where they fit in and what they're gonna do and how they're gonna do it. Uh, you know, some people you don't mess with, some you do but you spend a lot of time whining and complaining and pointing fingers, you give power to it and you point to a weakness. I never complain and whine about women because I'm a man. And as a man, I have the ability to stand strong and do what I want to. It doesn't mean that women haven't done me dirt. I tell people all the time, if there's anybody that should be complaining about how women are, it probably should be me. I done, I done ran into some stuff. I done dealt with some stuff, but I'm a man. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the problem. I'm going to fix what I need to fix, put myself in the situation I need to put myself in. And then I'm going to do what I have to do and make the best of it. I'm not going to sit up and start whining and pointing on my look, but the, because who a person is is who a person is. And me whining about it doesn't change it. And I'm not going to judge every other person because they happen to be a female or a black female based on what I've been through with a couple or maybe three black females. Number one is I got to ask myself, what state of mind was I in that allowed them to get that close to me in the first place? See, we don't want to deal with our issues. And I, I know I'm kind of going the long way around that, but I want to give real context to this. Okay, so I have an issue with dude in that instance. So I'm not a fan of his and in under normal circumstances would never even be anywhere close to considering doing anything that might be interpreted as me supporting him. And this to me has absolutely nothing to do with him, but the pettiness and the manner in which we move around things without thinking about what we're doing. Now, here's one thing that in, 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 in analyzing this and looking at it, the first thing I said is he should have thought about that before he said it. That's the common sense in me coming out and saying, okay, you don't want the heat, don't do that. You should think about what the consequences are. We teach our kids this all the time. Stop taking actions and then acting shocked when the consequences hit because you should have thought it out. Now, when you think it out and you know the consequences and you still do it, you don't, you don't have a right to be shocked when the consequences hit. You just deal with them. You decided you, it was worth it when you did it. And that's how life should be lived. You should look at it and say, okay, there are going to be some consequences to this. Can I live with it? And then you make the move. And when the consequences hit, you keep it moving. Why? Because you made the choice. Stop making choices without thinking about the consequences. That's something we need to teach our youth. That's something some of us need to be aware of as well. Now, now that we know he should have thought about this, 
should you be as a beehive member on a site giving a rating to a restaurant owned by a person but probably ran and operated by other people. For to understand, he does cooking. He can cook well, and he might actually be cooking in there. I don't know. But run by uh, multiple people, employing multiple black people, and setting up an example of black business, from what I've understood. And I'm, I'm speaking solely from what people have told me about this particular restaurant. Okay, should you be on giving ratings for services that you never received? To me, that's simple. It's dishonest. But on another level, I'm gonna tell you why. I would never do it. Do you know the energy it takes, the negative energy it takes to actually be thinking that way to go do something like that? Put him out of the equation. Let's talk about where you have to be at as a person to go out and actually do that. Do I think, let's just be real. I think he's an idiot. I, 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 I've been trying to be nice. But I think he's an idiot. I think he does things to remain relevant. I think he takes shots that he knows will create a stir because in PR and in, 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 in um, uh, public relations, there's this idea that all publicity is good publicity, whether it's negative or whether it's positive, because it keeps your name and your 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 your, your brand in the minds of people. Uh, I personally don't want ne uh, negative publicity, but if it comes from me telling the truth, if it comes from me keeping uh, to my beliefs and my standards and my values, my interests and my principles, I have no problem with dealing with it and bearing the brunt and the burden of it. But I, I'm not going to purposely go out and create negative publicity for myself uh, for the purpose of remaining relevant. I want my relevancy to be in direct correspondence and alignment with my, my my focus and my faith and nothing about what I'm trying to do is negative. So I don't want the negativity. Doesn't mean that it doesn't come at me because there are just certain people who are gonna be offended by what I do, what I say and how I, how I move. I'm good with that, but I'm not purposely going out to create the problem. So that's that part. So I wanna get that. My problem is how many people how many hued people, melanated people, took themselves to a level, an energy level or a vibrational level so low that they went and falsely rated a man's business because of his opinion, no matter how stupid the opinion. And then there's this whole now debate going on where everybody's attacking everybody. Now, uh, Beehive me members are taking shots at people have nothing to do with it. I've seen posts now where they're naming all of the uh, obvious people that are referred to as great singers from Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Jasmine Sullivan, Brandy, a bunch of other people, uh, Fantasia, um, and some more, and breaking down why they're crap. Because somebody else said Beyonce couldn't sing. Again, the energy in what it takes to break down and tear down is the problem I have. Again, should he have thought about that before he did it? Yes. You know, does his opinion matter? No, it shouldn't. Is he accurate? Well, from a professional perspective, those who have been around music, she's vocally talented. Is she the best vocalist? In my opinion, no. Would I ever open my mouth and say she can't sing? No. So my assessment would have been he's off board. What the hell is he thinking? But when I when I when I consider the source, like he's pretty much on par. You know, he's pretty much on par. He, you know, he, he, he has an off perspective on things and you never know what's going on with him. I don't know him personally. Um, I just know that some of the stuff he says is totally thrown off. But my thing is, I'm not going to let him take me to a place where I'm going to go do something dishonest to get back at him. Or even people who have done me dirt and I have something 
factual on them and I'm talking factual that will totally blow up their whole persona on how they're presenting themselves and they done me dirt I'm still sitting on that why because the negative energy that it takes to go do that doesn't do anything for me aside this false feeling of having gotten back at somebody but the negative energy it takes to do it is more detrimental and damaging to where I'm at and what I'm trying to do than trying to get back at somebody. Life, karma has a way of working without you helping it. And and, and that's where I'm, I'm, I'm at that place where you let karma do, deal with stuff like that. You need to be focused on doing the best you can do and being the best you can be at all times. And like I said, I wouldn't have even been addressing this if I wouldn't look, if it wouldn't have got to the point where the, uh, people were actually giving false uh, ratings on this man's business that employs other black people that had nothing to do with what he said. And again, he should have thought about that before he says it because other people are depending on him. Uh, he has to consider how he carries himself. There are a bunch of things that I probably would do if it was just me. And I didn't have a wife and I didn't have kids. I would probably do things a little differently. I don't get to do that because I'm not the only one going to be impacted by the consequences. And that's what we have to be able to look at and see. I just had to touch this. I had to get to this because I'm sitting up and looking like, damn, did they, they really do that? Is it that serious that you have, you're a fan of somebody and somebody says they can't sing? And I don't know if he said anything else derogatory beyond that. Or if that was it, that was like, you know, an open, closed statement. But is that the energy you, you, you're going you're gonna to have? Now, again, people do what they want to do. But I'm talking about pro-social behavior within the black collective. Number one is he could have kept that opinion. Number two, no one had to really respond to it, especially if it's as asinine as I personally consider it. Why respond to asinine things? Why give your time and energy to things that should be beneath where you're functioning and operating? That's the question. I just had to drop that in. On that note, I'm out of here.